he just, what a terrific job. And I think that's kind of been kind of the MO of this team all year, to take what the defense has given us. And some nights it's, it's JB hitting threes. Last week, Paul Bate hits the big break, the breakthrough three in the corner. Um, this, the, today it was Trayvon making big plays. And I think it really the, what set Trayvon up to play so well was the example that guys like Yogi and these other juniors that were here last year set for him day after day in practice that pulled him to a higher level every day so that he was ready for this type of stage. Yogi, could you discuss how he, I mean, he was there for every pass you delivered and whoever in trouble had a chance to fall on. Yeah, you know, my, my shots were really falling all game. I went six for 15, so. I mean, I was just trying to drive and get guys on the block, Troy Spears and Trayvon Blue. That was pretty much the main thing I was trying to do is get them, get them looks and get them shots. Yogi, how does it feel to come back to Conseco and this time leave as a winner? Uh, you know, it's wonderful. You know, we worked hard all, all year, and the coaches have prepared us so well. And I feel like we deserve to win this game. Coach, you brought your zone out a little bit. Talk about that. Well, we wanted to go and we felt like we had to, you know, they were going to pass that thing around. We had to change the tempo of the game when we got down by nine. As athletic as they are, um, there was kind of a, it was a little bit risky, but we felt like we needed to do that. Um, so when we extended it out, that's when we were able to change the tempo, get them to be able to corral Filer a little bit. And that's when we got some deflections, some steals, got them out of sync a little bit. So even when they got shots, they weren't in, you know, being slashing right at the basket. So being able to change to that uh, half-court trap really, I feel like, made a big difference and got us back into the game. He felt you matched up or when you went to that, and you had somebody on and I'm the big kid. He said the big kid usually was their outlet guy to break that. Did you, you know, specifically you know, keeping track of uh, 10 Kostic there on, on that so they could outlet to him? Yeah, we were trying to keep the ball out of the middle, and uh, Brendan Tannenbaum and Troy Spears did a great job keeping it, staying in front of that guy in the post and keeping it out of there. And uh, then the guards did a very good job funneling the ball handler towards uh, either Brendan or Troy. Trayvon, keep it down over there. So <laughs> <laughs> that last possession, it kind of seemed like you got everybody together in a little, little group and... Uh, Kind of what, was, what did you say, and you know, just kind of walk us through that last possession, uh, your emotions, and after after the win. When we, when we were down, or, uh, when you were up, that last possession. possession. Oh, um, I told them, you know, just stick together and play defense. You know, if they, the shot was going to miss, I told them we need to come up with the ball. You know, if we didn't, they could put it right back up, and we came back up with it. We won. Remind you had a lot of. Uh, Yes, um, we've been playing with each other since we were about in fourth grade, so uh, we kind of had the same chemistry coming in uh, this year. And um, we've been playing um, some of the two man game all year, so uh, it was really nothing new today. What does it take to always be in position for his pass and always be there? Um, well, you actually don't know when he's going to pass. <laughs> he has uh, no look passes and all that. So um, all I do is when I set the pick, <clears throat> I just roll to the basket. That's what he tells me to do, and he'll give it to me when he needs to. Trayvon, what did you see on that three-point play that, uh, late in the game there? Well, I had a gut feeling telling me to uh, go in and um, rebound. You know, I've re I didn't rebound on the offensive end uh, all game, but uh, it – but I felt like I needed to, and I luckily it came into my hands. You know, I was prepared, and I went up, and I, I got the foul. Yeah. Obviously, you weren't too nervous in the big situation here, being a freshman, 21 points in the state championship. You clearly were not uh, overwhelmed by the moment. Um, yeah, I was kind of nervous, you know, but you can never show it to your opponent. You know, but, uh, you don't uh, let them know that you that you're feared or you're nervous, you know. So uh, that's what I've been doing all my basketball career. Actually, both freshmen were nervous, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I just told them. I mean, stick with me and JB and the entire team, and stick with us throughout the whole game. And we can come out with the win. You know, you talked last week about how going there this time, losing was going to be unacceptable for you, and you talk about now that you've. Uh, Will the, the team will the win? Now you got you're looking at a situation where you got just about everybody back. Yeah, you know I was definitely gonna be disappointed if we won. You know, coming here a second time, year in a row. 
you know, all the hard work and, you know, I didn't want to stop here. You know, I definitely wanted to come out with seven wins in March and that's what we did. What you keep talking about looking forward. I mean, now is the goal to already to, to come back and be thinking that far ahead. Oh, I definitely do want to come back. I think, you know, everyone returning back, we might become even a stronger team, you know, with everyone being this our first year, I think we can come back next year. Our theme going into this uh, into this game was unfinished business, and uh, we we're we we're very fortunate. Again, the ball bounces. It's a one possession last year. The last possession didn't go in. This time we came up with it. We we're very fortunate. So it was we we're fortunate to finish the unfinished business. Now we have new business, and many times it's uh, it's a lot harder to repeat. And uh, so we've got some new business to take care of, and it's going to start uh, here pretty soon. You're excited to see people like Bowman and Broderick and maybe join two A. Well, you know what, we've had, we had to beat a lot of good teams along the way. Um, you know what, it's just trying to get better each day. And one of the things that probably characterizes this team is, is just consistency. They come in consistently, day after day, trying to get better. And we can't control Bowman or Broad Ripple or Indianapolis Washington or any of those teams. All we can control is Park Tudor. And uh, these guys have such a maturity level to be excellent in the classroom. And when they walk in that gym, they are, they're on a quest to get better. Every day, every man, and you know, you can't say that. I've coached in high school, college, the NBA. I've never had a team more consistent and focused on improvement than this team. How good was Filer, Yogi? Who, does he compare to anybody you see regularly? Um, <clears throat> just his his slashing standpoint, I could probably compare him to probably Marcus T. I'd say so, but you know, he's definitely a good player, and he's someone I want to play against in one-on-one -on -one just to get my game better. So, you know, I definitely like this game a lot. Any other questions, anybody? How about JB diving on the loose ball at that last play? <laughs> <laughs> so is that Superman or who driving when, when horizontal into the pile? So, of course, uh, after the free throw, I knew he was going to do something to, to make a play. And, and sure enough, there he came sailing through the air onto, that, onto the pile and onto the ball. Coach, guys, thanks for your time.